Okay, so now we're looking at a regular Google page here, but we're going to talk about Google Alerts. Setting up an alert for something that you want the web to tell you about. It's very simple to do. So at a Google page, you can just simply go to a quick search for Google Alerts. And it will take you to this first link here, which is the Google Alerts page, where you can simply type in the URL bar up at the top, google.com slash alerts. So let's click on it here, and you'll see that I already have some alerts uh, set up that, um, you know, tell me whenever certain things are happening on the web. Essentially, that's what an alert does, is it looks at the web every single day and scours it for things that you tell it to. And then you get an email every so often. You can set the frequency of that up as well, but we'll walk through that. So let's just say I was interested in doing research for an upcoming project with my students about the MERS virus. So I could simply come in here and do a search for MERS. But let's say I wanted to be a little bit more specific, that I maybe I knew my students would be focusing on something more specific than that. I would simply put a plus and I could say, Americans. Maybe we wanted to know about how it was affecting Americans. So you'll see right now I've got the option to create the alert, but I want to change my op options. How often do I want to be alerted by it? At most once a day, or I can choose as it happens. If we're thinking about the types of research we do with students, then we probably want to do it at most once a day, especially if this project is far off in the future, you know, a month or maybe a couple weeks ahead of you. That way you're not overwhelmed by information, but maybe you're in the project itself. Then you might choose to do as it happens. So automatically it will choose sources for you. These are the options for you. Automatic pulls things from everywhere. So that's usually what I choose because that's what I'm looking for is the most particular types, uh, most particular um, sources that you have. The region is important, especially for things like what I'm doing here with MERS. That's usually... Um, something that's related to uh, something far across the uh, across the world. But I'm going to choose any region because I'll just leave it wide open. But you can see how specific you can get. You can choose all results or only the best. I choose only the best because it narrows for me. You can also choose where you want it delivered. By default, it's going to go to your Google account. So that's my, my personal Google e email address. And then I click Create the Alert. And there it is. So now whenever there's news or anything that goes on with MERS and the word Americans in it, I'm going to get notified at least once a day about what's happening there. So this is a great tool to use with students for research in the future so that if you can teach them how to set these things up, then the web does the work for them. Every day they get notified of material and things that are out there rather than sitting there and trying to find it themselves. Sometimes that will happen, though, that these things will lead you to other places, but it's always a good place to start is with an alert like this. Thanks.